Capricorn. Fool. Aquarius, Aquarius fucking around be like, no, let him go, go ahead. We've been going through some things lately. Let him go ahead. He could get back to them. It's like, damn, that you gonna do your Saturn partner like that? It's like them niggas is good. They probably at work right now. Eh, Aquarius, stop being greedy with the time. Okay? You know, damn well Capricorn need they reading. Them niggas probably is working the overtime shift though. But they trying to watch at overtime though. They trying to watch. Okay. Capricorn, full moon in the ninth. Ooh, full moon in the ninth. Pisces in the third. Capricorn, right now, your ninth house is fully illuminated. So when it comes to the things that you have knowledge and wisdom about, okay, and you got Virgo in here too. So you be dead serious about the things, your belief system. You use your beliefs to really shift reality for real, for real. All right. A little dogmatic, but it's all right. We we working through that. He's working through that right there. Okay. Your beliefs is a law. But Capricorn Sun Rising is a Buddhist. Them niggas will debate you to the death. Oh, man, they'll debate you. A spiritual Capricorn ain't playing around. All right? So when it comes into the things you have knowledge and wisdom about Capricorn Sun Rising, you can get exalted for a lot of these things right now. But the thing is, you got to relate it. You got to communicate it. You got to be the example of it. All right? So you may have a debate with somebody in, in your personal space, but then you can manifest situation taking that same belief system out into the world. That's what you don't run from right now. You get a fully illuminated... A fully illuminated ninth house, things that you wanted to experience or explore that you might have suppressed. And you know, we'd be good for doing that, Capricorn Sunrise. We'd be suppressing things like a mug for no reason because we want to build this, this, and a third. Okay, you can't go on vacation. You can't go to the bar out for, you can't go to the bar for some drinks. You can't go on a date with your wife. Capricorn, get your ass out the office or get yourself in feel a little bit. What's around you? Feel the feelings of others. Yes, yes, Stellium five, times five, just minding our business a little bit too much. It's like you can mind somebody else's business from time to time. We're not even telling you to mind somebody else's business that don't even make sense minding their business. Like we're telling you to mind your wife's business, your family members. You ever know what your son report card look like? Nigga, nigga is, I mean, the niggas are delinquent. You don't even realize it. The wife's been trying to tell you for a couple weeks now, this nigga is on the, I mean, hanging from a thread with the educational system. Report card look crazy. Nigga getting letters is H's, I's. These is not even, the shit's supposed to stop at F. They put in all different type of letters on this little nigga shit. You don't know. You too much into your business. You you're not tapping into no moon energy at all. Everything Saturn. You telling your wife, all right, I'm at home. You you went to the parent teacher conference, right? So you know what they said he got to do. It's like you're wilding right now, Cap Sunrise. Use wilding. All right, but let me not drag you out. I say you're good. Uh, full moon in the ninth house. So like I said, it's there's a lot of things y'all got wisdom about, experience about. And you trying to get, God trying to exalt you for some of this right now. But like I said, you got to get out your office though. You got to preach the word in the streets a little bit. Not niggas around, niggas not just want to hear this in the cubicle. Your coworkers in a cubicle don't just want to hear this shit all day. They, they even telling you this is a good word. Take it outside. Take it outside. All right. So there's going to be confirmation of the wisdom and expertise you have in a certain field or in general, and you'll be able to. You'll be initiated to communicate and relate these concepts and philosophies as Pisces season progresses. Don't shy away from being that voice, okay? So even when it comes into exploring and experiencing new things, you can't be in so much of a structure, organized space right now. You kind of got to learn how to flow. You got to learn how to flow some Capricorn sun rising, and then you'll attract the right creative minds right now to add on to the things that you're building, right? You got Pisces in the third house. So you could create some new relationships that become some tight, close bonds, you know, with you being open towards how you build and structure something. Your passion and intention, your, your intention to build and structure don't be the problem. But sometimes you could be a little bit too stern about how you're going to do it. You Sometimes you don't be open to God's will of how to work on something. 
this is going to be a time you're going to have to get a little bit flexible, right? Earth be dry as hell, but when that water, when that shore comes, it helps the creek, it helps the motherfucking cracks. You know, I don't even know what type of real analogy I'm trying to make, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. The water moisturizes the thing. Nigga trying to be all poetic. The water just goes through the cracks of the land and helps the earth breathe. Uh, nigga trying to be too poetic. All right. Shout out to Tupac Sh Shakur. Shout out to Janet Jackson. Poetic Justice. That just came to my head. Good movie, y'all. Good film. Good film. All right. So, uh, but seriously, Capricorn, let that water move through you some. Let that Pisces water. That's a sextile too. So a lot of times when Capricorn, when you in alignment being open, you, uh, you open up portals for Pisces energy to come into your life and more creative minds to be attached to what you're doing. Pisces rule the 12th house, so they're able to take your business and whatnot, your brand, what you build in instruction, connect it to others out in the world, right? So that's the type of energy you got to be in. But you got the full moon in the ninth house. So there has to be some level of conviction as to what you know, the experience you have. You don't let people play your experience. You don't let people play the things that you have expertise with right now, Capricorn Sun Rises. All this Pisces energy is in your third house. People try to play it, you express it. You establish your knowledge and your intellect about the things that you know. That can create opportunities in its own. Somebody wants you to start teaching something. Seeing you express, communicate, relate your, your knowledge and wisdom some type of way, then they so intrigued about something. Then they go tell their uncle that got mad bread. He's like, you know what? Bor who was his name? Borrow? Tell him I put him on the payroll. I'll give him $1,000 a month to do my readings. All right? I'm trying to manifest some celebrity clients, y'all. You got anybody in the family? But them niggas is masons or in secret societies. I can't get with it. All right. They be trying to make you do too much funny things to get connected in there. I do got a cousin or two I don't mind sacrificing. But other than that, uh, niggas be annoying. I ain't going to lie. Uh, I'm, I'll negotiate with the Illuminati. Be like, listen, first of all, I ain't doing no funny, kinky stuff. That's for one. I ain't going to lie. I'm tired of this regular Matrix life. I'm trying to come up. All right, I do got this one cousin. I know I'm not sacrificing my mom. No. But this one cousin, we ain't got the best relationship. Niggas start trying to negotiate with the Illuminati. All right, which, all right, okay, I'll leave my cousin alone. It got to be somebody I really care about. <sighs> Damn, I can't just wear a dress real quick on my live stream. They're going to think it's just a joke or something. <sighs> They're going to think it's just a joke. I can't wear it the whole live stream. I'm going to just come in in the beginning and I'm going to take, I, I got to wear it the whole thing. Damn, you niggas is, y'all don't budge. Y'all do not budge in this Illuminati secret society thing. That's what you, that's what you got to do to work with celebrities or be one. You got to start doing all that funny stuff right there. Okay. But seriously, Capricorn, seriously, Capricorn Sunrise, y'all's in a space right now where y'all could get exalted through a right connection. Somebody take what you build in the structure out into the world. You can't just be so closed into how you're building structure or something. You so adamant about a business in your life, building this thing out there. You got certain people coming to you like your friends like, yo, you ever pay attention to using this resources, that resource to do this thing third? You got the knowledge and wisdom, but I think this resource helps. No, I got it, brother. I got it. That is going to be bad. That's going to be negative and detrimental during Pisces season. Okay, so the full moon is reminding you to be open, reminding you to realize not only the knowledge wisdom that you do have, but also knowing that there's more to learn. There's more to learn. Let your third house put you on game. I ain't talking about the song Game on the documentary. That was a good classic album. Shout out to the game and Dr. Dre. They be acting like the game. Niggas be shitting on the game. That nigga don't never be on top 25 rappers list or nothing. Nigga way more talented to so many niggas. But the problem is he's beefing with 50 Cent and the cancers will wipe you away. You don't beef with certain signs. The cancers, you don't. Them niggas will take you out of existence. The nigga could be rich and everything, having a good life, but you beef with the cancer. Niggas don't remember you for nothing. Cancers will force you to what to remember. Some of y'all in a relationship right now with a toxic cancer sign. Nigga be forcing you to remember the good times. Like, I don't care if things is bad now. Remember that time when you like, I ain't gonna lie, yes, that was he tricking you, sister. He making you think he's still that person. He just put you into that experience so vividly, so well, you think it's like a chance the nigga could come back to being that nigga. I 
You don't beef with the cancer, man. It'll fuck your whole shit up. You got to surrender early. Look at the niggas that's still here. They surrendered early. Fat Joe, he surrendered early. He didn't take it too far with that nigga. All right. Rick Ross. That nigga thought he could do something, but he got Diddy on his side. So when you got Diddy on your side, you're always going to be exalted in Hollywood. And that, but, you, but you, I know what happens at his parties. I ain't doing all that. I might as well lose the battle to the cancer. Cancer could, I don't care about success that much. I do not care that much. All right. Don't invite me there. I feel disrespected you invite, invite me to a Diddy party. That's how much, this, don't play me. I'm, I got a, I'm a man with a spine. Anyways. That's what we got going on. Shout out to my Capricorns. Aquariuses. 